In this video I'm going to explain how to convert volumes and areas by looking at a couple of examples. So for the first example we need to convert 1.4 cm squared to meter squared. So we write down our 1.4 cm squared and we know that there's 10 to the minus 2 meters per centimeter. So we multiply by 10 to the minus 2 meters per 1 centimeter but the units are squared for the area so we need to square that uh, conversion factor. So we end up with 10 to the minus 4 meters squared per 1 centimeter squared. We cancel out the centimeter squared and we end up with 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared. Here's another example 27 micrometers squared uh, converted to meters squared so it's the same process we write down what we have. We know there's 10 to the minus 6 meters per micrometer. So we multiply by that conversion factor, but we need to square the conversion factor again because the units are squared for the area. So that gives us 10 to the minus 12 meters squared for every 1 micrometer squared. When we cancel those out and work everything out, we get 2.7 times 10 to the minus 11 meters squared. So that should be squared, not cubed, just there. Okay, um, in terms of volume, uh, to convert 8 nanometers cubed to meters cubed, we write down 8 nanometers cubed. We know there's 10 to the minus 9 meters per nanometer. So we write down 10 to the minus 9 meters divided by 1 nanometer. But we have to cube this because the, the units are on a cube basis. Um, and that goes to 10 to, the 10 to the minus 27 meters cubed for every 1 nanometer cubed. Cancel out the nanometers cubed, we get 8 times 10 to the minus 27 meters cubed. Final example, 30 centimeters cubed converted to meters cubed. So we write things down, 10 to the minus 2 meters per centimeter. We cube that, work everything out, and we find that we've got 3 times 10 to the minus 5 meters cubed. There's some also other things that would be useful to know, useful to remember, is just some volume conversions. It's just useful to remember and know that one meter cubed is a thousand liters, that one decimeter cubed is a liter, and that one centimeter cubed is one milliliter. So they're just useful conversion factors to just know off the top of your head. Okay, so that's been a video introducing conversion of area and volume.